Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Heavenly Father. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to embrace your word and to open up our minds and our hearts in your presence, Heavenly Father. Lord, have your way on this morning that we may bring forth your word and place flesh and self to the side. In Jesus' name, amen. Good afternoon, brothers. We are in another season of Fruits of the Spirit. Uh, we have a six-part series of faithfulness. And this is the number one, uh, the first part of faithfulness. And it's called staying committed. And we're going to take a deeper look into the life of Uriah. Uriah the Hittite. Bathsheba's husband. And how faithful he was to the king. Because his, his faithfulness has... Uh, really touched me and how faithful he was um, so we're going to get really deep into it um, if there's any questions that arise brothers feel free to speak um, and shed your your input amen let us begin um, faithfulness staying committed we're going to be taking a look into um, 2 Samuel 11, verses 1 through 27. And it talks about the David and Bathsheba. And how David and Bathsheba interact with each other. And then it talks, of, it, it, it's so much in this, these couple of verses here because... It tells you a lot about what the king did, the response uh, Bathsheba had towards the king, the response she had towards her husband, the response Uriah had towards the king, the response Uriah had towards his wife, and the response Uriah had towards God. That is very important that we take a deeper look into the response that Uriah had towards God. Amen. But first, I want to take a look at some things um, about faithfulness. You see, faithfulness is an important quality for men. It is so important for men because God has um, showed us the qualities that he has showed in his son Jesus. And he gave us the good example that we have to, as men and as fathers, as sons, as uncles, as brothers, need to share to other men because it's, it's an important, very important quality. Amen. And the first one I want to talk about as men, our words are very important. Our words can determine how faithful we are. Our words can determine our quality, our words can determine how far we're going to go in God and as far God has taken us just by our faithfulness, just by our words. For the words we speak must make a difference. When we speak words, it has to make a change. It has to be a change because God has given us authority. Authority as men, authority as our words, authority as we speak. We can speak things in existence. We can speak things um, to uplift people. We can speak things to even hurt people, especially those closest to us. Because as men, they will listen to the words we speak because it comes out of us, especially our sons our daughters, maybe even our spouse. But we're going to take a deep look into these things. Because I, I, there are seven qualities, seven important qualities uh, that I went over. Um, and it, and it very uh, got my attention. 
Okay, and the first one is as a man, our words. As a leader, our words. As a brother, our words. As a fellow worker, our words. As a fellow soldier, our words. As a messenger, our words. And most importantly, as a minister, our words. For the words we speak must make a difference. Those are seven qualities that has to make a difference when our words come out of our mouths. What we say must bring power to our lives. It must count for something. Let me read that one more time. What we say must bring power to our lives. It must bring power to our lives because the words we speak can make a humongous difference. It can make a difference in uh, where God has taken us as men. It can make a difference to the words we speak into our son's lives. It can make a difference to the words we speak in um, to our daughter's lives. Um, because our sons need more uh, manly role model than what they see every day as basketball players, football players. And they see a lot of the drug dealers also. But fathers have to stand up and be a very important part of their son's lives because it can make a pretty big difference in their lives. And also with their daughters. Uh, their daughters look for men like their fathers. Look for men that are trustful. Look for men that are faithful. Look for men that are honorable. Look for men that can uh, be such um, an influence in their lives. That's what the young girls, um, it's very important to teach them as fathers. It's very, very important. And I want to take a look at the first part. The first one I just made an example of, and that's as a man. And we find that in Genesis 2 and 20. And Adam named all the cattle. Adam named all. You see, Adam, Adam's word made, made a difference. His words, what he spoke out, made a big difference. And the one thing I loved about it is that God agreed with everything that Adam spoke. Everything and every animal that Adam named, God agreed with it. And, it, and the, reason, the reason why I love it so much because Adam was in a place in God that God was able to believe him. God was able to agree with him. God was able to trust his words because Adam was 100% mind capacity. He was 100% in faithfulness. He was 100% in the likeness and in the image of God. Amen. Let's take a let's just read um, Genesis. I want everyone to get a clear picture of of where of where we are. It is it is Genesis um, two and um, twenty, and it reads Genesis two and twenty, and it reads, and Adam gave. He gave. The Bible said Adam gave so he spoke these things out of his mouth and he gave them he said look this is who you are I'm looking into your character and this is what I'm naming you because of your character and Adam gave names to all cattle and the fowl of the air and the 
into every beast of the field. But for Adam, 